Hello, a very good morning from Kitali, Kenya. My name is The Village Wanderer and uh, I'm a Kenyan YouTuber who currently resides in Kitale, Kenya. I've been living here for the past five years and uh, welcome to my channel. Now on this channel I highlight issues of uh, living in the countryside, living uh, in a rural town though it's an urban setup it's a rural uh, it's an urban center in a rural area of uh, Transoia County and the town is called Kitale now uh, today I'll be talking about five reasons or five uh, compelling factors that should make you move to Kitale five reasons why you should move to Kitale. I've been here for the past five years and uh, it's been quite an experience living here, uh, quite different. Previously I lived in Nairobi for quite a while. I was brought up in Nairobi uh, for most of my childhood and teenage years. So and I've worked in Nairobi as well and studied there. So. Uh, coming to Kitale about five years ago was a whole different uh, change for me and uh, today on the channel I want to give you five reasons why you should move to Kitale uh, uh, if you're considering it. So number one, you should move to Kitale because the cost of living the cost of living here is uh, the cost of living is low and uh, in comparison to maybe Nairobi and I say that because you find the cost of fresh produce uh, is low the cost uh, if you intend to rent a house the cost of renting a house would be much lower than what you'd ordinarily pay in Nairobi uh things tend to be a bit closer here so you'll find since the area in terms of where you have to go are close to each other like say the town center or places that you need to get st things like the market are close to so each if other. you intend to uh run errands different parts of the town then it's very easy to do that uh, primarily because everything is close to each other so you don't have to incur a lot of costs with transportation like you would in Nairobi so the cost of living here is low the second reason why I would uh, put a compelling case for those who intend to move to Transoia County and specifically Kitale town is it's a developing center. When you come here you realize that businesses are growing and uh, things are happening around here in terms of just uh, with the whole county system and, and government investing in infrastructure like roads uh, and expanding town centers town, town center amenities urban amenities you find that it's becoming more and more convenient to easily move to a rural town like Kitale. Uh, the road network makes it easier to move from place to place. Uh, there's an air, airstrip here that has daily flights, so it's easy to reach uh, other places, uh, specifically Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, so it's not difficult to uh, live here and uh, have your business in Nairobi because uh, it means if you have to go to Nairobi uh, there's a way to get there in under one hour flat so that makes it easier even for uh, individuals with a considerable net worth to be able to move here and comfortably access services or or things that they'd want to do back in the capital of Nairobi. The third reason why I would put uh, I'd, I'd 
put a compelling case for those wishing to move to Kitale is the fact that the the environment the environment here is much more uh, I'd say much more laid back they still uh, if you if you like the kind of environment that makes is a bit slow that is uh, slowed down and uh, where the air is fresh where things are moving a bit slower where you can be able to uh, just uh, do things at a slower pace then uh, this area may work for you in terms of uh, that and uh, you may be able to to find uh, that to your convenience so uh, it's not as hectic as Nairobi so if you're looking to maybe raising a family in a slower pace environment uh, where you're able to probably do a little bit of farming and uh, get a piece of land and do one or two things on it then this is an ideal place more specifically because the weather is conducive for that and uh, yeah a lot of more and more people are moving here and uh, and uh, they have testimonies to tell with regard to the experiences here now the fifth the fourth reason the fourth reason i'd uh, urge those who are considering to move to Kitale to come here uh, is the level of entertainment. Uh, in my opinion, uh, what makes me uh, what makes me uh, love this town with regard to entertainment is the fact that. Uh, there's options, there's choice. Uh, probably not as much as you'd get uh, in larger urban centers like uh, Nairobi or Mombasa or maybe Kisumu, but uh, there's enough to get by. Personally, uh, I'm very much into activities like swimming and there's, there's, there's plenty of that. There's plenty of pools that you could actually choose from. A lot of... Uh, hospitality facilities have swimming pools a lot of hospitality facilities have entertainment options where you can go and have some fun and uh, listen to music and enjoy yourself uh, with regard to entertainment there's also a nightlife though not as vibrant as uh, larger towns there's still a nightlife where you can go and enjoy yourself and, and have a bit of fun uh, with regard to entertainment and uh, recreation there's also a very famous uh, club called the Kitale Golf Club which has been there for a very very long time so you can also go there have some recreation and enjoy yourself uh, Kitale has a wide range of hotels as well uh, from low-end facilities to high-end facilities uh, so it's plenty to choose from with regard to high-end facilities and uh, yeah you can actually have a vibrant uh, it, uh, you can basically entertain yourself in many many ways uh, and this is regard in regard to entertainment specifically for adults and entertainment for children with regard to amusement parks and uh, activities that, that they can do. Uh, so the fifth and final reason why you should consider moving to Kitale is the fact that uh, they still the vibrancy of uh, having uh, a community around you, you find that uh, uh, there is more uh, community type uh, of engagement. You'll find uh, neighbors are still close in terms of finding out how you're doing. Uh, so there's a sense of community uh, within this town. 
uh, regardless of the rapid urbanization going on in Kitale town, you find that uh, there's still a sense of community. So uh, within the estates, uh, within the neighborhoods, you'll find uh, there is a vibrancy of Nyumbakumi with the head person, usually called Mkasa. Uh, so the Mkasa being a head of uh, an estate or a neighborhood, and that's the version of Nyumbakumi where you support each other in case of any calamity or issue coming up or uh, in being able to sort out neighborhood issues or issues that may be affecting uh, uh, your living, uh, the area in which you're living. So there's still that vibrancy of community that is not so much in Nairobi because uh, probably people are busy or people are moving from place to place so you find uh, many people do not form attachments with where they're living because maybe it's a rental property and uh, they'll move away from there anyway if there are issues with the house or if there are issues with the area so you find uh, the whole sense of community is not there so if you're moving to Kitale expect to probably be part of a larger community where people are more concerned about your well-being uh, people will ask you how you're doing uh, will be more uh, concerned with your affairs with regard to uh, your welfare within that community so those are my five reasons uh, why you should move to Kitale in 2023 if you have any more, uh, you can please add them to the comment section, but those are mine. Uh, I'll also be posting other videos on uh, Kitale, so stay tuned for that. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, until the next one, for now, it's bye-bye.